Welcome to YouTuber Headlines. I'm Oakley and today we're talking all about YouTubers giving back. Last Friday in my YouTube Mom Weekly Rundown, I talked about Melina Ciciotti sponsoring a child in need. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the cards. Melina posted about sponsoring a child through World Vision. At that time, I did not know her post was sponsored. I started getting comments like this on my video. Melina gets paid to promote that, by the way. She's not being genuine. She's not giving back. She's making money from that. Another viewer said, the whole posting about the child sponsorship just seems like a holier than thou thing. Which, mind you, she didn't start until after she got called out for all of her lies. Melina has a big, real-life community between family, friends, and church. She could have put this information out to elsewhere. Call me cynical, but it just seems like she's using these poor children to show she's such a good Christian. This is something that just really hits home for Jordan and I. When we first came home from our honeymoon, one of the very first things that we did was sit down and sponsor a child through World Vision. Um, and then each child that we've had, like Alethea and Ari and now this baby, we also sponsor a child that is like around the same age as them so they can like grow up together. I feel like it's really sweet and a really easy way for you to be able to introduce your kids to how sponsoring works. Um, and it's just, it's such a blessing. So Melina said she has sponsored children before. I knew about Melina's Reddit thread, but a few viewers told me to head over there. They had all the receipts. I will link the Reddit thread in my description box in case you want to check it out. But I found this comment. It says, I agree. I'm sure they sponsored children before, but I think they should just promote the company, if anything, not have sponsored posts and like a code. It rubs me the wrong way too. Melina also shared a lot of this little boy's private information. Someone actually DM'd World Vision and said, please contact Melina Ciciotti and tell her not to include the full name of the child she's sponsoring and exploiting for profit. I hope this is not something World Vision is okay with. They responded, World Vision and said, thanks so much for sharing your concern. Melina did blur out the most sensitive information, but I will let her know for next time that more could be done. Thanks again. That was so irresponsible for her to share his personal information, even his full name. I think that goes a little too far because no one needs to know his full name. A viewer left this comment on Melina's Instagram post. It doesn't feel right this is a paid sponsorship. If you wanted to do this, why do you need to do it through a sponsorship? It feels icky. This is Melina's response. World Vision is a nonprofit organization that like so many other nonprofit organizations relies on paid advertisements to get their message across. The more people that can see, hear this campaign, the more kids that are sponsored. On average, for every $16 spent on ads, $100 is donated. Child sponsorship is something I've always freely promoted on my platform and have always used my own money to sponsor. When World Vision approached me to partner with them on this specific campaign, it was such a special opportunity. If I can promote clothes, makeup, hair care, etc., how could I not promote an organization that is literally changing lives? A viewer left this comment on the video I posted last Friday when I mentioned Melina sponsoring a child. The viewer said, I'm skeptical about any of these sponsored child programs. If you look at them, a lot of them have been fraudulent. I have not looked into World Vision. I've never donated through them. I've never sponsored a child through them. So I'm not saying they're fraudulent. I'm not saying they're not fraudulent. I have not researched that company, so I can't say one way or the other, but I thought it was important to include that comment because I did receive that comment a few times on my video. So like I say with everything, when an influencer is promoting something, it's extremely important to do your own research on anything that an influencer or celebrity promotes. I'm reading this from Reddit. Someone sent World Vision a DM and they said, I'm not sure what your exact policy is, but I think it's wrong that Melina Ciciotti is able to post the personal information of her sponsored child online. I'm aware she blurred out some of this sensitive information, but I think she should have done more to protect the child's identity. As the child cannot consent to something like that, I hope you will seriously consider this and will have a genuine discussion with her about this. World Vision responded. They said, we have. Thanks for sharing your Concern, that image has been taken down. I'm happy to hear that image was taken down because this child couldn't consent to any of this and I don't think it was necessary to share all of his personal information. It's good to see World Vision responding to these DMs and taking action by making Melina remove that post. I'm not sharing the image that she posted online because I would have to blur everything anyway so you wouldn't get to see what she shared. 
because I definitely won't be sharing that in this video. So this is a controversial topic. Some viewers do not like to see YouTubers give back and have that sponsored. Some viewers do not like to see YouTubers give back and have that monetized. Some viewers do like to see YouTubers give back and don't care if they monetize it. Everybody has their own opinion on this, which is completely fine. I really don't think there's a right or wrong answer here. I think you're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to mine. That's just how I feel about this situation. So many YouTubers monetize giving back, and that could be having a sponsored post like Melina did. That could be going to a grocery store and paying for everyone's groceries who's in line and filming it, putting it on YouTube and monetizing that video. There are different ways to monetize giving back. Mr. Beast, who is one of the largest YouTubers in the world. He has over 94 million subscribers. He constantly films himself giving back, monetizes that video and puts it on YouTube. We didn't use a sponsor because usually when I use sponsors, people just complain. I don't know why, but people just get mad at me for using a sponsor. Even when I give away all the money, people still get mad at me. So comment down below if you care whether or not we use a sponsor. Obviously, if we use a sponsor, we can give away way more money. And if you wanna support me and allow me to do more nice things like this, buy my merch, it will be linked in the description. It's so not only did he monetize the video where he gave back, he promoted his merch at the end of it and said, if you buy his merch, this supports him and allows him to give back even more. Next, I want to talk about Tiffany Beeston. You guys know she cleaned a mama's home who needed help. She filmed several videos, she made several Instagram reels, and she monetized all of this on her platform. And she was praised for doing this over and over and over again. If you go to those videos, you can see nothing but praise in her comment section. Now, did she delete maybe the comments that didn't agree with what she was doing? Maybe, I'm not sure. But I never saw a negative comment about what she was doing. And she was definitely giving back to this family. And she monetized it and she was praised for it. Fearfully Created also did this with a family. She went over and cleaned their house, filmed it all, monetized it all, and received praise for doing this. The LeBrant family, they often film themselves giving back. I've watched a few of their videos. One that stands out in my mind is when they go to a store. I think it was a grocery store or Dollar General. I cannot remember. But they were walking around the store and they told random people that were at the store, we want to pay for your stuff, so go ahead and get whatever you want. And so you had people with two and three carts just full of stuff and they paid for everything for hundreds of people. The line was so long and they paid for everybody. They stood in the store and paid for everybody's stuff for hours. And they filmed themselves, they posted this video on YouTube and monetized it. I just gave you four examples of YouTubers monetizing giving back. Although each example was different and unique in their own way, those YouTubers were monetizing giving back. So it's interesting to sit back and watch some of this go down on YouTube because some YouTubers are praised for giving back and some are not. I do think a lot of it has to do with how the YouTuber presents it to their audience. And Melina's situation, it was kind of messy. She shared the child's information. I also heard she was blocking people on Instagram, deleting comments. So let me share my thoughts and opinions on this. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love to see people giving back. I love it, I love it. It's one of my favorite things to watch. It makes me emotional, especially when it has to do with children. It makes me feel all the things inside and I cannot imagine a world where I never get to see someone give to another person to another family, to do a good deed for someone. I can't imagine a world where I never get to see that. So I do like to see people giving back and I don't care if they film it. If I'm gonna watch a sponsorship from a YouTuber, would I rather watch a sponsorship on eyelashes or the Sunday lawn? Have you guys seen those sponsorships? Everybody's doing the Sunday lawn sponsorship and it seems so disingenuous for all these YouTube moms to be out in their front yard like digging the grass, you know, cause you gotta send your soil sample in and then they're spraying their grass. That seems so disingenuous. I'm tired of seeing those ads. Would I rather watch an ad like that or would I rather watch content or a sponsorship that involves giving back in some way? Well, this is my opinion and you don't have to agree with me. It's okay if you have your own opinion here. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. I think there's just a preference. I would rather watch content that involves giving back. It's some of my favorite content to watch. 
I will say, when you involve money with anything that you do, I do understand the icky vibe. I do get that. And, you know, sometimes you look at a creator and you wonder, are you giving back for the right reasons? Or are you doing this for content? Are you doing this because you're being paid? Those are definitely valid questions that might go through your mind when you're watching their content. I totally understand why someone would think that it's not as genuine when you're being paid to give back. I do get that. I totally understand that. But I would rather watch a sponsorship or content that's monetized that involves giving back any day over a Sunday lawn sponsorship or an eyelash sponsorship. You know what I mean? Those are my thoughts and opinions on this. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos by clicking on these thumbnails right here.